Yeah, it's mine. I think he's got this. Troll. <laughs> it's prime. Thanks. Hello and welcome back, Transformer TCG fans. This is Grillenheimer. As long as I don't get interrupted by the plastic cat. It is the year 2023, and the damn cat is in the way. So anyway, uh, yeah, well, anyway. we got three more characters, new characters to look at here. Uh, one's an Autobot, one's a Decepticon, one is, we'll see. So let's start off with G2 Autobot Jazz, who is duh, an Autobot. He's a special ops and saboteur, which is funny considering he looks like he just stepped out of a rave because he's day glow everything orange pink mauve i don't know what this is so and i wish if i still have the image i might try to redo it and add just some black uh bar underneath him to bump him up so he's not behind the stats that's what you get for getting on top of the mantle uh so he's an eight star just like our other omnibots okay he is an omnibot you're like Grimhammer. Why is he not about? What's, what, what is going on here? So, just as Camshaft uh, has an ability to help with uh, with weapons at the start of your first turn, you may play a weapon on one of your Autobots. Uh, at, the, at the start of your first turn, you may play an armor on one of your Autobots, etc. As Downshift deals with uh, helping get bald with weapons, and Camshaft shift ha helps getting tough with armors, um, or all your, they actually help help them all. Uh, Jazz is going to be doing something similar, but not quite with secret actions. So when you flip to this mode, while a secret action is unrevealed on the battlefield, you may flip another character you control to bot mode. Um, dangerous? Yes. But it's going to be neat because if he's an Omnibot, you're going to want him to put, be put with your other Omnibots, okay? And um, so at the start of your very first turn, all these things are going to get triggered. And you're going to like, ooh, I can put on a weapon, I can put on armor, I can put on a utility. Boom. That's nice. Um, how, how this actually works. Uh, of course, you got to have them in your hand. So there's that. Uh, but so when you flip him to his alt mode, one, he needs to be flipped to bot mode first, flip him to alt mode. And whether you have a secret action that hasn't been triggered or your opponent, yes, um, then you're going to be able to flip one of your characters to bot mode. And, okay, and if he has a weapon, he's getting the bold. Uh, I was talking about downshift there. So that G2 Autobot Jazz, flipping him to alt mode is going to be able to flip another one of your characters to bot mode. Specifically would work well with Omnibots because he's one himself, and I'm trying to shoehorn him a little bit into that group to see what, what would happen in his... Uh, he's melee in alt mode and bot mode. He's omnibot and specialist. So his traits are really getting mixed up here. Uh, when one of your omnibots attacks and a secret action is unrevealed on the battlefield, you may play a secret action. Boy, this sounds a lot like special ops mission or whatever that card is that came with the Soundwave Blaster. Where Because if you remember Brainstorm, that lets you play an action and another action. Does that include secret actions? Yes. And because of that, with Wasi's help from years ago in his videos, then if you play a, brain, a, a, a brainstorm, can I play a plot action and a rolling action? Yes. Can I play an action or a, a rolling action or a secret action and a, and a plot action? Yes. And because of that, they're like, this is too problematic. Let's ban Brainstorm. And so they did. So I can understand that. So, but you're going to be able to get this off of, and he needs to be a rare, not a common. Um, 
to be able to play another secret action as long as a secret action is in play, whether it's yours or your opponent's. But it has to be unrevealed. And if it's one of yours, that's even better because you're going to have a cup uh, without, without even using a brainstorm or special ops mission. I think that's the name of that card. Uh, where it lets you play specifically a secret action and another secret action. That's specific. So that's G2 Autobot Jazz. Let's uh, look at the Decepticon. Who is Cloud Cover, the Toxic Crusader? He is a 12-star melee plane. Um, and I was really looking at a lot of our other Decepticon planes, especially with this many stars, to see how the how best he would work. And in judging and looking at his bio or her bio, whatever Cloud Cover is, because uh, it is the year 2023. Uh, but no, seriously, I mean, we had, we had some G1 Fembots and, and what they did in Transformer animated when Starscream duplicated himself was hilarious. That was just hilarious. Anyway, um, so in alt mode, his stats are 4, 14, and 2. In bot mode, it's 5, 14, and 1. So his attack goes up, his defense goes down, which is normal. And I forgot whose template I was kind of basing this off of. I was looking at a little bit of Windsweeper and a couple of others and the star screen and whatnot so while this has three upgrades equipped which three does it have to be a weapon and uh, uh, armor and utility no just three upgrades it can be three extra paddings or three attack drones or or a weapon and you know or fill fill all the slots out whatever or a an extra measures and two utilities doesn't matter. Of course, extra measure that got to give credit to Buddy. Credit where credit is due. So, hey, Buddy, you still watching me? Uh, while this has, so you can move one damage. So, wait a minute. While this has three upgrades equipped, and you flip to this mode. So, one, you got to have three upgrades on him. Two, he needs to be in bot mode. Three, flip him. Four, you need to have damage on your characters and at least be two wide. Um, with a 12 star character, you can easily be three wide uh, with a seven and a six or whatever. So, but move one damage from two characters you control to two different enemy characters. So, if you're playing up against a combined character or a one tall or whatever, uh, you know, Thripticon. Omega Supreme, whoever, talk about Omega Supreme. Um, you're only going to be able to do move one. You're not going to be able to go, oh, I can move one off of this character, move one off of this character. No. You can only move one because you're, if they don't have two different enemy characters to choose from, you move one off of one of your characters. So that's the least you can do. Move one damage from two characters you control to two different enemy characters. Uh, so, again, it's not hard to see how this is, can be set up. Your other characters, or even this can this damage can come off of cloud cover. That's not an issue. But again, it's a really cool flipping trigger. A really cool flipping trigger, and, and not non-damage attack, but moving moving damage um, and as long as your opponent is playing at least two wide or two tall or whatever we call it one tall two tall three wide four wide um, then yeah you got you got characters with damage move one move one move one pick a character move one pick a character different character like so uh, to reiterate if they're only playing one character or they're one tall you can only move one care one damage. Flip him over to bot mode. The Toxic Crusader here, just like Windsweeper, has the plane trait. No base card needed. No utility needed to create an uh, added plane trait to anybody. Uh, he's 5, 14, and 1. He's playing in ranged. He was playing in melee and alt mode. He's now a ranged character in bot mode. Each plane you control has tough one for battle. So, ooh, maybe I should have other planes with this character. Yes, you should. 
So, and he is a rare character for what it's worth. Uh, I, th I thought I was, I was able to pull his image off pretty easily. Um, now in his alt mode, I, had, I smoothed out, tried to smooth out some of the uh, some of the artwork on there because it was really grainy for their copyright stuff or whatever. And I just I didn't do the whole thing, but I did parts of it where it looked really grainy. So that was cloud cover. Now, last but not least, are, are you gonna axis G one axis? So G axis, or I pronounce him. Jack, Jack, I don't know. Uh, and he's the Liege Centuro. He's an 11, 11 star character. Um, I don't know what this is. Okay, but it's a black trait. I made a an image, a, a symbol for him, which has the half Autobot, half Decepticon, and the strike through. So he has no faction. He's factionless, I think. I don't know what I've done here, but I think he's factionless. So he's a leader trait, he's got a spaceship trait, and he's a melee trait in his alt mode for an 11 star spaceship with four attack, 12 health, and three defense. So I, I think I was looking at some of our, like our Astro trains and some, and, and uh, not Alita one, Alpha Trion, and maybe, and maybe a sound, sound wave or shock wave in their in their spaceship modes also to try to gauge some of the tech not text but some of the the stats here and there is no okay let's fix that when you flip to this mode easy here n n nothing nothing going too crazy unlike cloud cover or jazz when you flip to this mode do one damage to an enemy character if it has a matrix equipped do one more and because he is a non-faction character let's check this out when this attacks an Autobot it has plus one to attack for turn when this defends against a Decepticon it has negative one defense for battle so now his defense is zero if he's defending against a Decepticon when this attacks an enemy not an Autobot or Decepticon you may play an action so this is not, ooh, which one can I pick? No, any of these trigger when necessary. If you are attacking an Autobot, you're gonna get extra attack. If you're defending it against the Decepticon, his defense is zero. If he's attacking anything else, Maximal Predacon, um, Quintesson, has, has somebody actually tried making it the Junkions a faction instead of, of just the, the trait they are? Um, they're, they're attacking anything else. You get, get to play another action. Um, yeah, I like this. And he is a rare character for what this is. Um, I like this. It's a little different. It's a little bit to keep up with, but not really. Um, but yeah, has anybody tried making Jaxus? Uh, or Jaxus or G? I, I don't know. It, 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 that was a long time ago. G2 Comics. I remember the... Because uh, I was still buying comics. Barely. I, really, I mean, I, I had a pull. And I may have been getting some of the Uncanny X-Men and the New Mutants. And X-Force, maybe. Back before whatever the crap they're doing now. Um, back when the comics were good, back when comics were good, back in the early 90s, late 80s, any time before the year 2000, let me tell you. Um, I don't see how much, how the comic stores are staying afloat nowadays, unless it's like with Warhammer, Battlehammer, um, dice games, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, models and, and whatnot. Um, but I, I'll never forget. It was was it it was a GI Joe issue, and I saw it in the grocery stores. Because the grocery store we didn't have comic book stores like we do now. We went to the grocery store, you saw your comics, and I'm like, ooh, cool. Well, no, I did have a pull, 
Did I have a pole back then, or was I at the grocery store? Ah, I can't remember which. Long story short, you, you know you know most of this already. Is I saw the GI Joe number one in a four issue series or whatever. It was the cro first crossover with, uh, with Transformers and GI Joe, and you saw Megatron on it, and I'm like, whoa, cool. I was not a Joe fan. I, ha I collected very little G.I. Joe comics. I don't even have those anymore. Because uh, I sell a big chunk of my, my comics to someone south, in the south part of town for like $100. And they were probably worth a lot more than that. But I needed the money to help pay utilities. And so I, I saw that that G.I. Joe tra transfer crossover. I got it. I got the other three when they came out. And I'm like, cool, I knew something was coming, but I didn't know what. And so once the 12 issue G2 stuff came out, uh, I was all over it. You know, this is not your father's Autobot and all that. That, that was just really fun. And the whole thing with, with this character and the whole time. Uh, and I didn't even know uh, that, that why they named the character, how they named this character, because they knew they were going to get axed at any time. And it only ran for 12 issues, but still, it was a good deal. It, it was a fun time. So what do you think? What do you, uh, Should G2 Autobot Jazz be an Omnibot? Uh, is Cloud Cover a little too strong um, with, his, with moving damage and being able to give all your other planes tough one while he's in bot mode? Um, which is kind of simple, a little, little bit simplified for his bot mode compared to his alt mode, which uh, basically kind of stole from one of the star streams, I think. Um, and, and, and Jazz dealing with the secret act, secret actions that have to be unrevealed, they have to be upside down, um, to be able to get those those perks. And then GX is here with you know attacking in bot mode or defending in bot mode. Uh, so, you know, if he's defending, that's not good. Uh, you know, I, you know, as a ranged character, he can, he can definitely use stuff like armed hovercrafts and what, what, what not like that in his, uh, alt mode, you're going to be able to get some decent non-attack damage if he's wearing the wrong. So what do you think about these? Uh, as the light, as the sun gets darker, do you like this? Does this work? We'll see. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. So much more to come. So much more fun to be had. It's not over yet unless the end of the world comes September 23rd. We'll see you next time. Have not just a great day. Have a blessed day. And as always, Autobots, let's flip out and let's roll for it. Here comes that sinking feeling.